Muscovy Duck, Wikipedia Article Audio Anna's Moscata Description Etymology, Taxonomy, and Systematics Ecology Reproduction Feral Bird Domestication Notes Bibliography The Muscovy duck is a large duck native to Mexico, Central, and South America. Small wild and feral breeding populations have established themselves in the United States, particularly in Florida, Louisiana, and the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas as well as in many other parts of North America, including southern Canada. Feral Muscovy ducks are found in New Zealand, Australia, and in parts of Europe. They are large ducks, with the males about 76 cm long, and weighing up to 7 kg. Females are considerably smaller, and only grow to 3 kg, roughly half the male's size. The bird is predominantly black and white with the back feathers being iridescent and glossy in males, while the females are more drab. The amount of white on the neck and head is variable, as well as the bill, which can be yellow, pink, black, or any mixture of these. They may have white patches or bars on the wings, which become more noticeable during flight. Both sexes have pink or red wattles around the bill, those of the male being larger and more brightly colored. Although the Muscovy duck is a tropical bird, it adapts well to cooler climates, thriving in weather as cold as 12 degrees C and able to survive even colder conditions. In general, Barbary duck is the term used for sea Moscata in a culinary context. The domestic breed, Carina Moscata domestica, is commonly known in Spanish as the Pato Criollo. They have been bred since pre-Columbian times by Native Americans and are heavier and less able to fly long distances than the wild subspecies. Their plumage color is also more variable. Other names for the domestic breed in Spanish are Pato Casero and Pato Mudo. All Muscovy ducks have long claws on their feet and a wide flat tail. In the domestic drake, length is about 86 cm and weight is 4.66.8 kg, while the domestic hen is much smaller, at 64 cm in length and 2.73.6 kg in weight. Large domesticated males often weigh up to 8 kg, and large domesticated females up to 5 kg. The true wild muscovy duck from which all domesticated muscovies originated, is blackish, with large white wing patches. Length can range from 66 to 84 cm, wingspan from 137 to 152 cm and weight from 1.14.1 kg in wild muscovies. On the head, the wild male has short crest on the nape. The bill is black with a speckling of pale pink. A blackish or dark red knob can be seen at the bill base, and the bare skin of the face is similar to that in color. The eyes are yellowish-brown. The legs and webbed feet are blackish. The wild female is similar in plumage, but is also much smaller, and she has feathered face and lacks the prominent knob. The juvenile is duller overall, with little or no white on the upper wing. Domesticated birds may look similar, most are dark brown or black mixed with white, particularly on the head. Other colors such as lavender or all white are also seen. Both sexes have a nude black and red or all red face, the drake also has pronounced caruncles at the base of the bill and a low erectile crest of feathers. Sea Moscata ducklings are mostly yellow with buff brown markings on the tail and wings. For a while after hatching, 
juveniles lack the distinctive wattles associated with adult individuals, and resemble the offspring of various other ducks such as mallards. Some domesticated ducklings have a dark head and blue eyes, others a light brown crown and dark markings on their nape. They are agile and speedy precocial birds. The drake has a low breathy call, and the hen a quiet trilling coo. The karyotype of the Muscovy duck is 2n equals 80, consisting of three pairs of macrochromosomes, 36 pairs of microchromosomes, and a pair of sex chromosomes. The two largest macrochromosome pairs are submetacentric, while all other chromosomes are acrocentric or probably telocentric. The submetacentric chromosomes and the Z chromosome show rather little constitutive heterochromatin, while the W chromosomes are at least two-thirds heterochromatin. Male Muscovy ducks have spiraled penises which can become erect to 20 cm in one-third of a second. Females have cloacas that spiral in the opposite direction that appear to have evolved to limit forced copulation by males. Muscovy is an old name for the region of Russia surrounding Moscow, but these ducks are neither native there nor were they introduced there before they became known in Western Europe. It is not quite clear how the term came about, it very likely originated between 1550 and 1600, but did not become widespread until somewhat later. In one suggestion, it has been claimed that the company of merchant adventurers to new lands traded these ducks to Europe occasionally after 1550, this chartered company became eventually known as the Muscovy Company or Muscovite Company so the ducks might thus have come to be called Muscovite Ducks or Muscovy Ducks in keeping with the common practice of attaching the importer's name to the products they sold. But while the Muscovite Company initiated vigorous trade with Russia, they hardly, if at all, traded produce from the Americas, thus they are unlikely to have traded sea Moscata to a significant extent. Alternatively just as in the Turkey, or the Guinea fowl Muscovy might be simply a generic term for a hard-to-reach and exotic place, in reference to the singular appearance of these birds. This is evidenced by other names suggesting the species came from lands where it is not actually native, but from where much outlandish produce was imported at that time. Yet another view not incompatible with either of those discussed above connects the species with the Muisca, a Native American nation in today's Colombia. The duck is native to these lands too and it is likely that it was kept by the Muisca as a domestic animal to some extent. It is conceivable that a term like Muisca duck, hard to comprehend for the average European of those times, would be corrupted into something more familiar. Likewise, the Mosquito Indians of the Mosquito Coast in Nicaragua and Honduras heavily relied on it as a domestic species, and the ducks may as well have been named after this region. The species was first scientifically described by Carl Linnaeus in his 1758 edition of Systema Naturae as Anna's Moscata, literally meaning musk duck. His description only consists of a curt but entirely unequivocal Facinuda papillosa, and his primary reference is his earlier work Faunus Vesica. But Linnaeus refers also to older sources, and therein much information on the origin of the common name is found. Conrad Gessner is given by Linnaeus as a source, but the Historiae Animalium mentions the Muscovy duck only in passing. Ulysses Aldrovandi discusses the species in detail, referring to the wild birds and its domestic breeds variously as Anna's Carina, Anna's Indica, or Anna's Libica duck from Cairo, Indian duck or Libyan duck. But his Anna's Indica also seems to have included another species, perhaps a whistling duck. 
Already however the species is tied to some more or less nondescript exotic locality Libya could still refer to any place in northern Africa at that time where it did not natively occur. Francis Willupby discusses the Muscovy duck as Anna's Moscata and expresses his belief that all Drovandis and Gessner's Anna's Carina, Anna's Indica, and Anna's Libica refer to the very same species. Finally, John Ray clears up much of the misunderstanding by providing a contemporary explanation for the bird's etymology. In English, it is called the Muscovy duck though this is not transferred from Muscovia, but from the rather strong musk odor it exudes. Linnaeus came to witness the bird's gamey aroma firsthand, as he attests in the Faunus Vesica and again in the travelogue of this 1746 Vaster Goatland excursion. Similarly, the Russian name of this species, Muscus Nyaetka, means musk duck without any reference to Moscow as do the Buchmal and Danish muskusend, Dutch muskusend, Finnish muskusorsa, French canard musk, German muskusenti, Italian anatrum muskiata, Spanish pato al misclado and Swedish muskand. In English however, musk duck refers to the Australian species Bazyra lobata. In some regions the name Barbary duck is used for domesticated and Muscovy duck for wild birds, in other places Barbary duck refers specifically to the dressed carcass, while Muscovy duck applies to living sea moscata, regardless of whether they are wild or domesticated. In general, Barbary duck is the usual term for sea moscata in a culinary context. This species was formerly placed into the paraphyletic perching duck assemblage, but subsequently moved to the dabbling duck subfamily. Analysis of the mtDNA sequences of the cytochrome B and NADH dehydrogenase subunit 2 genes, however, indicates that it might be closer to the genus Ix and better placed in the shell duck subfamily Taternini. In addition, the other species of Carina, the rare white-winged duck, seems to belong to a distinct genus. The generic name Carina, meanwhile, traces its origin to Aldrovandi, and ultimately to the mistaken belief that the birds came from Egypt. Translated, the current scientific name of the Muscovy duck means the musky one from Cairo. This non-migratory species normally inhabits forested swamps, lakes, streams and nearby grassland and farm crops, and often roosts in trees at night. The Muscovy duck's diet consists of plant material obtained by grazing or dabbling in shallow water, and small fish, amphibians, reptiles, crustaceans, insects, and millipedes. This is an aggressive duck. Males often fight over food, territory, or mates. The females fight with each other less often. Some adults will peck at the ducklings if they are eating at the same food source. The Muscovy duck has benefited from nest boxes in Mexico, but is somewhat uncommon in much of the east of its range due to excessive hunting. It is not considered a globally threatened species by the IUCN, however as it is widely distributed. This species, like the mallard, does not form stable pairs. They will mate on land or in water. Domesticated Muscovy ducks can breed up to three times each year. The hen lays a clutch of 816 white eggs, usually in a tree hole or hollow, which are incubated for 35 days. The sitting hen will leave the nest once a day from 20 minutes to one and a half hours, and will then defecate, drink water, eat and sometimes bathe. Once the eggs begin to hatch it may take 24 hours for all the chicks to break through their shells. When feral chicks are born they usually stay with their mother for about 10-12 weeks. Their bodies cannot produce all the heat they need especially in temperate regions, 
so they will stay close to the mother especially at night. Often, the drake will stay in close contact with the brood for several weeks. The male will walk with the young during their normal travels in search for food, providing protection. Anecdotal evidence from East Anglia, UK suggests that, in response to different environmental conditions, other adults assist in protecting chicks and providing warmth at night. It has been suggested that this is in response to local efforts to cull the eggs, which has led to an atypical distribution of males and females as well as young and mature birds. For the first few weeks of their lives, Muscovy ducklings feed on grains, corn, grass, insects, and almost anything that moves. Their mother instructs them at an early age how to feed. Hatchling Young duckling Older duckling Fledgling One year old Mating pair White muscovy duck Mating in water, the large drake entirely submerges the female. Black Muscovy Duck in Baton Rouge Feral Muscovy Ducks can breed near urban and suburban lakes and on farms, nesting in tree cavities or on the ground, under shrubs in yards, on apartment balconies, or under roof overhangs. Some feral populations, such as that in Florida, have a reputation of becoming nuisance pests on occasion. At night they often sleep at water, if there is a water source available, to flee quickly from predators if awoken. A small population of Muscovy ducks can also be found in Ely, Cambridgeshire, and in Lincoln, Lincolnshire, UK. Muscovy ducks have also been spotted in Walsall Arboretum. There has been a small population in the Pavilion Gardens Public Park in Buxton, Derbyshire for many years. In the U.S., Muscovy ducks are considered an invasive species. An owner may raise them for food production only. Similarly, if the ducks have no owner, 50 CFR Part 21 allows the removal or destruction of the Muscovy ducks their eggs and nests anywhere in the United States outside of Hidalgo, Star, and Zapata counties in Texas where they are considered indigenous. The population in southern Florida is considered, with a population in the several thousands, to be established enough to be considered countable for bird watchers. Legal methods to restrict breeding include not feeding these ducks, deterring them with noise or by chasing, and finding nests and vigorously shaking the eggs to render them non-viable. Returning the eggs to the nest will avoid relaying as the female would if the clutch were removed. Recent legislation in the USA prohibits trading of Muscovy ducks and plans for eradication are in order to solve nuisance problems. Muscovy ducks had been domesticated by various Native American cultures in the Americas when Columbus arrived in the Bahamas. The first few were brought onto the Columbus ship Santa Maria they then sailed back to Europe by the 16th century. The Muscovy duck has been domesticated for centuries, and is widely traded as Barbary duck. Muscovy breeds are popular because they have stronger tasting meat sometimes compared to roasted beef than the usual domestic ducks which are descendants of the mallard. The meat is lean when compared to the fatty meat of mallard-derived ducks, its leanness and tenderness being often compared to veal. Muscovy ducks are also less noisy, and sometimes marketed as a quackless duck, even though they are not completely silent they don't actually quack. The carcass of a muscovy duck is also much heavier than most other domestic ducks, which makes it ideal for the dinner table. Domesticated muscovy ducks, like those pictured, often have plumage features differing from other wild birds. White breeds are preferred for meat production, as darker ones can have much melanin in the skin 
which some people find unappealing. The Muscovy duck can be crossed with mallards in captivity to produce hybrids, known as mallard duck because they are sterile. Muscovy drakes are commercially crossed with mallard-derived hens either naturally or by artificial insemination. The 40-60% of eggs that are fertile result in birds raised only for their meat or for production of foie gras, they grow fast like mallard-derived breeds but to a large size like muscovy ducks. Conversely, though crossing mallard drakes with muscovy hens is possible, the offspring are desirable neither for meat nor for egg production. In addition, Muscovy ducks are reportedly crossbred in Israel with mallards to produce kosher duck products. The kashrut status of the Muscovy duck has been a matter of rabbinic discussion for over 150 years. Acillococcinum is a homeopathic preparation made from Muscovy duck liver and heart manufactured by the French company Boyerin. Similar products are also available from other manufacturers. Typically diluted with lactose and sucrose to 110400, they are advertised to relieve influenza-like symptoms, but no evidence has been found of its efficacy. A study examining birds in northwestern Colombia for blood parasites found the muscovy duck to be more frequently infected with hemoproteus and malaria parasites than chickens, domestic pigeons, domestic turkeys, and in fact almost all wild bird species studied also. It was noted that in other parts of the world, chickens were more susceptible to such infections than in the study area but it may well be that muscovy ducks are generally more often infected with such parasites.